Hi everyone, Mr Gear here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a part whole model and how we can use it effectively in class. So, there are, as you notice, there are three circles and two lines on this. The red circle is the whole. 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 That means all of it. That means everything you have. The two blue ones are the parts. Part. Part. Now, these two parts make up the whole. So, for example, if I had, let me see. I have all of these. I'll put them all in the middle. They are all now in the whole. Okay? And I'm actually going to use this one to help me because I can write on this one. I don't want to write on my big one. So first of all, I'm going to count how many I've got as my whole. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven as my whole. Seven is my whole. Now, I can split these two up. I'm going to put them in this one, actually. I can split them up easily, in this case, by using the two different colours. So I'm going to put the blue ones over here, and I'm going to put the red ones over here. So this will help me write my number sentence. So I know that one, two, three, three, add one, two, three, four, so three add four equals seven. Absolutely, because I've split them up into their two parts and they make up seven. That's one way we can do it. As I've been talking about the Numicon and the 10 frame, you can also use this to work out the number bonds to 10. So I have got in here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 red counters, so 10 in there. And I can use my number bond, that's my whole. I can use this part whole model to work out a number bond. Let me see, I'm going to put one over there, and I'm going to put all of the others over here. Make sure that there are none left in the whole, because otherwise you haven't split them into their equal parts, into their two parts. So, one, one on this side. Can you work out how many must be on the other side? Let's count them and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I now know that one add nine equals 10. And I can do it another way. I can put three over there and all the rest over there. Remember, I haven't left any in the hole. So now my number bond is one, two, three on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. So three add seven equals 10. That is another number bond and it's some more addition as well. So those are a couple of ways that you can use a part whole model. Now, we can also use a part whole model when we're keeping score or playing games. For example, I'm going to use five of these counters, okay? So I've got five of them here. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I've got my five in there, and I'm going to write the number five in my part whole model. There it is. So I've got my five. Here they are. I'm going to play a quick game. Here's my cup. Now, this side here, this part, is going to be for all of those that miss. This side is going to be for all of those that go in. Okay, you ready? Oh, that one missed, so I'm going to put it over there. Oh, that one missed as well, so I'm going to put that one over there. Come on, Mr. Gear. Oh, that one's in, good. And that one. Oh, that one missed, so I'm going to put this one over here, and I'll put the ones that made it over here. Here we go. So, by doing this, I got two in, but I missed with three. And I know that I had five in total. So I can now say that three add two must equal five. So 
why don't you try having a game of something where you can either throw it into a bucket or you can keep score for you and one of your relatives and you can do it in a part whole model.